I am a proud owner of a Chevy Bolt 2019 Chevy Bolt EV. I paid a lot for it. It wasn't a cheap car, but it doesn't use gas. And at the time, I had a very long commute, so I figured it would pay for itself pretty quick. It was very important to me when I picked up the car that it have the lane keep assist functionality and of course the high speed charging. When I was test driving it, I tried out the lane keep assist and it was, I was very impressed at first, but then I realized it kind of sucked because it crosses the lines as it bounces you back and forth. It's pretty terrible. So, I don't know how exactly I stumbled across it, but it turns out there is a group of geniuses who have developed some software called OpenPilot. Sort of like Tesla's Autopilot, except OpenPilot allows cars to drive themselves without having to buy a Tesla and without having to pay $8,000 for the option. Holy cow, that sounds great. So what they do is they sell you a dash cam. Looks a little something like this. Really it is just a cell phone, but it's a heavily modified cell phone. So you get this dash cam that comes with some dash cam software, but then you can choose to install the open source software called OpenPilot, which in supported vehicles will allow it the car to steer itself which by the way you are observing right now my hands are fully on the phone and not on the wheel it will allow a car to drive itself and to, to steer itself and in most cases also provide for slowing down and speeding up automatically so this is great, I think, to myself. My Chevy Bolt has the, uh, the whole steering thing going on, so why don't I give it a shot? So I buy the hardware. Actually, I bought the Panda first, and I thought, I know, I'll just run this on a computer. Well, you can't. You gotta get the Eon. So I got the Eon, and I come to find out that unlike previous GM cars, I can't just plug it into my OBD2 port down there because GM has filtered out all the important messages. So we needed an adapter that would give us unfiltered access to those buses. That is what this device right here does. It's called a giraffe and the giraffe creates an interface between the camera connector and this Panda. That is the component of OpenPilot that communicates with your car. So I had to build the hardware, which believe me, my first generation of hardware was very horrible. But eventually it turned into a pretty sweet little circuit board you can hide under the plastic housing. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Really, we are tapping into the efforts that were made to port the Chevy Volt. Um, the Chevy Volt, up until very recently, you had to plug into the OBD2 connector, you had to unplug the camera, and you had to unplug this safety box in the back. And So it disabled some safety features, but you gained quite a bit by having a pilot. It's a, it was a trade-off. Well, I added the car. I did all the necessary things to port, is what they call it, the Chevy Bolt for open pilot. And the excitement that I felt the first time that I saw the steering wheel move itself was unbelievable. I mean, I got the tingles, I got super excited. I might have even done a little dance. I will never let you see me do that dance and I, I won't admit it if anybody saw it, but 
Anyway, so problem was if you hit the brakes, it would fault, and then you have to stop your car and wait for three minutes. Uh, randomly, it would fault. When you engage, sometimes it would fault. So, turns out the bolt steering column. I don't know. Get down here and take a look at that steering column. The bolt steering column is incredibly picky about the timing of those lane keep assist messages and about the counters in those lane keep assist messages. So we fixed that. And we now have Chevy bolts that are able to steer themselves reliably using open pilot. It's fantastic. I mean, I've been sitting here for, according to my, according to my camera, five minutes. I haven't had to touch the steering wheel. Continue straight onto I-196 East. I might not even have to touch it uh, as it takes this exit here because the exit is on the right. So anyway, we have reached the point where we have a reliable giraffe. That is the adapter. Uh, we have software it, that runs on the giraffe and the Eon modifications that are relatively stable. Um, there's some room for improvement, of course, and that's because this is a work in progress. But we've got it. Um, the, the final chink, the final piece of, of the puzzle is to make it so that the car can adjust its own speed. We have two avenues we can take to accomplish that. Well, one and a half. This car has automatic emergency braking. We can use those commands to apply the brakes. So in theory, open pilot, when it sees that you're getting too close to the car in front of you, could apply the brakes. But you're just then going to disable the cruise control and your car is going to slow down and it's not a great solution. So, Comida AI designed something called a pedal interceptor, which does what it sounds like. It sits between your gas pedal and the car and allows Open Pilot to send gas commands to the car. That is the option that we are going to have to use on a Chevy Bolt. Because Chevy Bolt has the uh, the single pedal mode, that is actually all we're going to need for the majority of uh, the majority of stop and go traffic, and it can do it. The single pedal mode, when you let up on the pedal, the car comes to a complete stop and holds itself there. That's the important part. And then Open Pilot is able to apply gas to heavy takeoff. Stop and go traffic is something that didn't necessarily even work right on the Volt. So it's kind of cool that the Bolt is going to have some nicer features than, than the Volt had. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is all assuming that we can get the pedal adapter to work. Uh, I can't promise that just yet. What I can promise you is that I am doing my level best to make it happen. As evidenced by all the wires I have attached to this pedal adapter. I feel pretty good that we're going to get there and we're going to get to the point that we're going to have this Chevy Bolt having level 2 autonomous driving. That's freaking awesome. What's even more awesome is that uh, GM has essentially implemented lane keep assist the same way in most every car that has it since 2016. Uh, even up into the 2020s. Which means if you don't have radar, if you don't have automatic cruise control on your car but you do have lane keep assist, this solution is probably going to work for you as well. I, we have it running on a Malibu. We have it running on an 
I think an Escalade and an Equinox. Um, uh, using this port and in some cases they've needed the giraffe in some cases they haven't but the point is this project is really going to open up possibilities for automated driving for a lot of cars that people would have thought not possible and if we go even further it might be possible that if the car had the option of lane keep assist that you might be able to put custom firmware on the car and add automated driving. That would be pretty fantastic. GM is not going to like it, so I don't know how long that will be possible. But So, anyway, I hope this provides a pretty good summary of the project, where we stand so far, and, uh, you know, why we're needing some support. Um, this requires a lot of time. Um, I've had to invest in, in quite a bit of equipment that I, I did not previously have. Like I said, I'm a software guy. Maybe I didn't say that in this video, but anyway, I'm a software guy. I've been doing this hardware stuff and it's fun, but it's not my area of expertise. So, it's not a cheap hobby. But I believe that this is a hobby that is like literally going to make a huge impact on on the world potentially so your support is greatly appreciated if you want to support me hit patreon uh patreon slash bolt open pilot um if you're already a patron thank you so much you're making this possible you're helping me pay for the electricity that is uh driving me right now so anyway thank you so much for watching Thank you for your support, and uh, hope you subscribe. I, I've been kind of updating pretty frequently, and uh, have a great day.